Hey guys, Nick here. Um, I haven't shot a video in probably about a year. Um, but that's going to change. It's the new year today. I'm all caught up on my small engine stuff with, with that weed eater. Um, I'm all caught up. Um, ready for the spring on that stuff to make my money so I can do this stuff. This here is a motorized bike. Um, I mocked it all up, but I started tearing it down already because it's quite boring. Um, what I had to do here for the caliper brakes, because I don't use the coaster brakes on these bikes, they just don't hold up, is um, for the caliper brake, the mount was up here for the fender. I had to make a new one to move it down. So it would go down, the calipers would go down on the rim and be in the correct position. So this is, I'm getting ready to tear this down, sand it, paint it, strip it, whatever. This is the last project I did. This was a Swin um, electric scooter. And uh, I put different rims on, put a gas motor on it, painted it. And like I said, it was probably about 10 months ago I finished this. Um, I've been so um, in demand for my small engine stuff. You know, I have to do that. That's where I make my money. This is going to get th this engine, not this engine, but the same engine on it. And um, I'll do a video on that, various fabrication stuff. Um, I got. I actually have four or five motorized bikes. I'm gonna do. Um, I'm not. I'm probably not gonna do a video on each and every one of them. But this one, I probably will. As you can see, this is a girl's bike. Um, it's not gonna be when I'm done. Um, I'll take you through that. I'm going to cut the upper tube off and put a tube like this and bend it in my bender. I know I'm all over the place, but I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, my garage is a lot more organized than what it was in my last video, but unfortunately it's the winter time and it's a little bit more cluttered but um that's that's about it as far as that i got a new toy ac dc tig welder so now i can weld aluminum um nice little welder it wasn't a, it didn't cost me a whole lot of money it, by the time i was done probably the welder, just the welder was $600, and then, you know, you got your regulator and your tank and your consumables, and then I had to fix the, um, configure a different, um, foot pedal for it, because the one that came with it isn't any good, so I bought one, modified it, and it worked really good. I've been practicing. I'm not a professional TIG welder yet, but it gives me the option to do aluminum. My plasma cutter still working good, which I catch a lot of shit for, but you know, for 150 bucks, it's a lot easier than using a cutoff wheel a lot of times. So, well, guys, I'm going to let you go. And I promise that I'll be making videos, so stay tuned. Um, yeah, this bike's going to be, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to start my video series. I'm going to delete a lot of my old videos, um, a lot of my Uber Scoot videos. Not because they're not, you know, good information or whatever, but now I have better information. And I'll be doing another video on that too. So, so this this will probably be my next one. I might do another motorized bike just to get caught up on those because they seem to sell the best. So, okay.
that's about it. Uh, see you guys next time.